Do you often suffer from swollen feet and legs? This is a discomfort that many individuals face but few truly understand. Swollen feet and legs, medically known as edema, is a common condition that can cause a great deal of discomfort and can significantly impair mobility. This swelling can occur for a variety of reasons, from simple factors like prolonged standing or a long flight, to more serious conditions such as heart, liver, or kidney disease. But regardless of the cause, the result is the same, discomfort and inconvenience. And that's where we step in. In this video, we will provide a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to eliminate the problem of swollen feet and legs. From understanding the causes to lifestyle changes, home remedies, and when to seek medical attention, we've got you covered. So stay tuned to learn how to give your feet and legs the relief they deserve. First, it's essential to understand why feet and legs might swell. A multitude of factors can be the culprit behind this discomforting condition. Let's delve into some of the most common causes. One of the most frequent reasons is prolonged standing. Our bodies are designed for movement, and when we stand in one position for extended periods, gravity can cause fluids to pool in our lower extremities, leading to swelling. Similarly, long airplane flights can also cause swollen feet and legs. The cabin's pressurized environment coupled with immobility during the flight can lead to fluid accumulation. Now let's turn our attention to more serious health conditions that can cause swelling in the feet and legs. Heart disease, kidney disease, and liver failure can all lead to fluid buildup in the body. The heart, kidneys, and liver are all vital in fluid regulation, and when they're not functioning properly, it can result in fluid retention, known medically as edema. Another health concern that can cause swelling is venous insufficiency, a condition where the veins in the legs are unable to adequately pump blood back to the heart. This can cause blood to pool in the legs and feet, leading to swelling. Similarly, blood clots in the leg veins, either superficial or deep, can obstruct blood flow and result in swelling. Pregnancy can also be a cause. The body produces about 50% more blood and body fluids to meet the needs of the developing baby, leading to mild swelling. While it's generally not a cause for concern, sudden or severe swelling during pregnancy can be a sign of preeclampsia, a serious condition that requires immediate medical attention. Certain medications such as those for high blood pressure, steroids, and some types of antidepressants can also cause swelling. Always remember to discuss any side effects with your healthcare provider. Knowing the cause helps you to tackle the problem more efficiently. So by understanding these causes, we can better identify the appropriate treatment or lifestyle changes needed to alleviate the discomfort of swollen feet and legs. Believe it or not, simple lifestyle changes can do wonders. Indeed, sometimes the smallest alterations to our daily routines can make the most significant impact. One of these shifts revolves around our eating habits, particularly the reduction of salt intake. Excessive salt consumption can lead to fluid retention, causing swelling in the feet and legs. It's not just about skipping the salt shaker at dinner, though. We need to be mindful of hidden salts in processed foods, canned soups, and fast foods. Making a conscious effort to choose fresh whole foods over processed ones can significantly reduce your salt intake. Drinking more water is another lifestyle change that can help. It might seem counterintuitive, but when you're adequately hydrated, your body is less likely to retain fluids. So aim to drink at least eight glasses of water a day. And remember, it's not just about quenching your thirst, it's about giving your body the hydration it needs to function optimally. The benefits of regular exercise can't be overstated, and when it comes to reducing swelling in your feet and legs, it's no different. Exercise improves circulation, helping to pump fluid from your lower extremities back to your heart. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a swim at your local pool, yoga or cycling, find an activity you enjoy and make it a part of your routine. It's important to note that these changes won't yield immediate results. Reducing swelling is a gradual process and consistency is key. It's not about making drastic changes overnight, but rather about incorporating small, manageable changes into your daily life and sticking with them. So cut down on the salt, drink more water, and get moving. These simple lifestyle changes can help you manage and even prevent swelling in your feet and legs. And as always, listen to your body. If it's telling you it needs a change, it's probably right. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to lifestyle changes. There are several home remedies that can help reduce swelling in your feet and legs. First and foremost, a simple yet effective remedy is elevating your feet. This helps utilize gravity to reduce the swelling. 
Aim to elevate your feet above the level of your heart for about 15 to 20 minutes at a time and repeat this several times throughout the day. You may use pillows, cushions, or even a reclining chair to make this more comfortable. Next, let's talk about compression stockings. These specially designed socks apply pressure to your ankles and legs, promoting better blood flow and reducing swelling. They come in a variety of strengths and sizes, so it's important to find the right fit for you. Start wearing these in the morning before you get out of bed and keep them on throughout the day for best results. Another effective remedy is applying a cold compress to the swollen area. Cold compresses work by narrowing the blood vessels, which helps reduce swelling and pain. You can easily make a cold compress by wrapping ice or a bag of frozen peas in a towel, then applying it to the swollen area. Do this for about 15 minutes at a time, and remember to always protect your skin by placing a cloth between the compress and your skin. Incorporating these remedies into your daily routine can provide immediate relief from swelling. However, it's important to remember that these are just temporary solutions. They treat the symptom, not the cause. To truly alleviate swelling in the long term, it's crucial to also address the root cause of your swelling. This could be anything from sitting or standing for extended periods, to certain medications, to underlying health conditions. Therefore, it's recommended to consult with a healthcare professional to identify and treat the root cause of your swelling. These remedies can provide immediate relief, but make sure to also address the root cause of your swelling. Sometimes, swelling can indicate a more serious health issue. Yes, it's true, while swelling in your feet and legs is often a result of prolonged standing or walking, it can also be a symptom of an underlying medical condition. So when should you seek medical attention? If your swelling is persistent and doesn't improve with rest, it's time to consult a health professional. Additionally, if you notice other symptoms accompanying the swelling, such as chest pain, difficulty breathing, or confusion, you should seek immediate medical help. These could be signs of a heart or lung condition. Also, if the swelling is severe or sudden, or if it occurs only in one leg, that's a cue to call your doctor. It could indicate a blood clot, which is a medical emergency. Remember, it's always better to err on the side of caution. If you're unsure, it's best to get it checked out. Don't ignore these red flags. Your health is paramount. Let's recap the key points on how to eliminate swelling in your feet and legs. We started our journey understanding the root causes which can range from prolonged standing or sitting to more serious conditions like kidney disease or heart failure. It's essential to identify what's causing the swelling so you can take the right steps to manage it. We then explored lifestyle changes that can make a world of difference. Things like elevating your legs, exercising regularly, and cutting back on salt can significantly reduce swelling. Remember, even small changes can have a big impact over time. We also discussed home remedies, which are practical and easy to incorporate into your daily routine. A simple foot massage, a warm Epsom salt bath, or even wearing compression socks can work wonders in reducing swelling and discomfort. But it's important to remember that these are not replacements for medical advice or treatment. They are supplementary measures that can provide relief. And finally, we underscored the importance of knowing when to seek medical attention. If your swelling is persistent, painful, or accompanied by other concerning symptoms, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide a proper diagnosis and guide you on the best course of action. To sum up, managing swelling in your feet and legs often involves a combination of understanding the causes, making lifestyle changes, and trying home remedies. But don't forget the importance of professional medical advice in cases of severe or persistent swelling. Swelling in your feet and legs doesn't have to be a permanent inconvenience. With the right knowledge and strategies, it's a condition that can be effectively managed, allowing you to enjoy a more comfortable and active life. By following these steps, you can reduce swelling and improve your quality of life. Until next time, take care of your health and stay fit!